right now over at Elages. It's a warm start to the day, a little above normal, and we'll get close to normal this afternoon. Usually here at the end of July, we're around 90. That's exactly where we will be this afternoon. Oftentimes this time of year, we also have ozone action days, and today is one of those days you're asked to help care for our summer air whenever possible. Try to limit driving. You choose two wheels over four if you can. Poor visibility today as well, and unhealthy air for sensitive groups. Young children, older adults encouraged to avoid prolonged periods of time outdoors with today's air quality. Satellite and radar showing uh, dry, quiet weather across our state right now. Monsoon moisture south of us across Arizona and New Mexico. And this time of year, it's all about whether that monsoon moisture gets to Colorado or not. And that's usually controlled by this big ridge of high pressure that often sits over our region this time of year. This thing sort of meanders around and today it's going to go north just a little bit enough to really cut off the moisture for the most part for the Denver, uh, Boulder and Fort Collins areas. So for most of us below 6,000 feet, it should be a mainly dry day. Far fewer storms today compared to the last couple of days. But if you're above 6,000 feet west of town, different story. Highway 285, Conifer, Bailey, I-70 above Genesee, and then heading up toward Nederland, Ward, up to Estes Park. Better chances for seeing showers and thunderstorms there. For those of us below 6K, uh, we're talking just a 20% chance for storms this afternoon. If you're in the foothills, we're talking at least a 50 to 60% chance for thunderstorms. Meanwhile, it'll be a little bit warmer today than it was yesterday. We'll get really close to 90 in the metro area. 70s and 80s in the mountains, still in the triple digits for some areas out west. And then tomorrow should be our hottest day of the week in Denver with highs in the lower 90s tomorrow. Thursday will be our best chance for thunderstorms, at least a 70% chance for storms on Thursday, Andrea. And we'll hang on to storm chances going into the weekend with temperatures back in the 90s.